What's up, y'all? I'm DJ Trife, and we already know if it ain't Trife, it ain't right. I am here to teach you the art of trapping in the kitchen. That's right, you're trapping with Trife today. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. I have a pan seared salmon we're gonna do, some sauteed kale, a little yam. It's getting cold, and you need to cuff your bag if it's a he or a she or whatever it may be. This is the art of trapping. Trapping is an art form. It's not, you know, something you should take lightly. It's an art. It has to be crafted. First things first, wine. <laughs> I never cook a meal. I don't care if it's 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. It's always after five somewhere. Uh, start with your wine. It helps as everything goes along. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, the yams. You wanna get your, your water boiling, as you said, I got my water boiling, and you gotta salt it. Now, when I say salted water, it needs to be like a little bit more salty than sea water, but um, just throw a whole bunch of salt in there. You don't need to measure it. Take your yams, throw them in there, just boom, let them go, let them cook until they're soft. The great way to know if they're soft is get you a little fork, stick it in if the fork goes through clean. Some of y'all catch that. Fork goes through clean, they're ready. Um, once the yams are done, I'm gonna do a little brown sugar and I got a little cinnamon allspice mix and some butter. I'm from Texas. <laughs> Lots of butter. If you want to be slim and trim, if you know Bay is a little health conscious, then you can cut back on the brown sugar. If you know thick is in, then come on, add a little more. You can't have too much brown sugar. And uh, don't go too crazy with the brown sugar and that makes. Now, this little gift of God is a little orange liqueur. And I always add a little orange liqueur to my yams, always. Um, whatever brand or whatever, if it's triple sec, whatever you want to do, it's fine. Um, if you saved and you want to be real holy, get your little orange juice out your fridge and do that. But citrus is perfect for yams. Um, yams are going to get going. Now, after the yams are going, that's when we're going to start on the salmon. Now, when it comes to seasoning your salmon, black people, whatever you were going to do, cut that in half. My fellow white friends, how y'all doing? Whatever you were gonna do, you need to double that up. Cause you know, y'all like to. No, you need to. Okay. Do that, I got some fresh rosemary. Don't play with that dried up stuff that you get in the store. Get you some fresh herbs. Your whole house will smell right. They think you're really doing something amazing. You know you're not. Now, the kale. So while that's searing, we're gonna get on the kale. First you're gonna, again, warm the skillet up, put a little oil in there. We got some chopped up onions, a little fresh Garlic that came out the little jar that's not really fresh, but I wasn't trying to chop up no garlic today. Um, we're gonna saute it all up. Um, you can do olive oil. <laughs> I love butter. Gonna do it with butter. Um, we're trapping, not losing weight. Throw that in the skillet, get the, the onions, the garlic. Bam, add the kale in there. You need to turn it down a little bit so you don't burn your kale so it gets a little bit soft. Um, I have, where is it, where is it? A little rice vinegar, boom. I do rice vinegar, you could do malt vinegar, malt liquor, no, I'm kidding. Uh, honestly. You can do whatever you, a little vinegar or a little balsamic always goes a long way when it comes to greens. We're gonna finish it with a little cream sauce. There's so many ways you can do a cream sauce. Some people do, I have some right here, this is just heavy whipping cream. Do a little cream, I got some white wine. I usually do it with a, a buttery wine, so that's like your Chardonnays. Um, we gonna add a little bit of this garlic in there. You can do a few parsley flakes, a little chopped up fresh parsley. Uh, you can add capers. You can add whatever the, honestly, whatever the hell you wanna add. You just, just throw it in there, they gonna love it. The sauce is more or less for presentation and a little flavor is not really the, the meat of the meal, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so let's get cooking. Y'all ready? So the first thing you wanna do, of course, like I said, is the starch. Um, it's all about the yams. People always ask me all the time, Try how you get so thick? I'm built for it tough. No, I'm lying. It's the yams. <laughs> Start with these. So, ooh, the wash the water, child. You don't want to get burnt. <laughs> That's all right. I ain't no chef. Just kind of throw it in there. Boom. Woo. A little hot. That's all right. 
That's okay, it ain't gotta be perfect. Cause you're just trying to trap. This is um, Alaskan salmon. The difference is Atlantic salmon is farm raised. Um, probably has antibiotics and all that type of crazy stuff in it um, cause they're grown in a small little vat. Um, if you ever see Alaskan, that means it's actually wild caught. Um, Atlantic salmon usually has color added. It's a little bit more fatty. Uh, and that's how you can tell, like a little, little brown kind of looking, little fat that's going on. Uh, and then Alaskan is definitely, it's wild caught. The color's a little bit better. It's a little bit prettier. And you know, it's a little bit better for us. But buy what your pocket allows. Don't, don't go out here buying um, Alaskan salmon for bay. And you don't even know if they're gonna be around for a while. Just saying. So now we're gonna go ahead and season our salmon. Remember, white friends, black friends. Remember what I told you earlier. So we're gonna start with a little salt. You know, okay, cool. Got it. So now. You gotta turn the skillet on, you gotta get hot. Do not, I love gas stoves. Like I, I really hate electric ranges. That's just me. Put it on medium heat. Don't, don't get it too hot, cause then you'll get it, you'll burn it. But let's talk about searing the salmon. So salmon actually can be prepared like steak. It can be done rare, medium rare, or well done. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I mean, if you eat salmon and sushi, why can't you have a little medium salmon? Um, I don't like my salmon to be like done, done, dry, flaky. And I don't want no dry nothing. So just, you know, see, we're gonna sear it. I'm gonna show you how to sear it. Keep it simple, sear it on both sides. Give it some nice color. If it's a little little pink in the middle, that's okay. That's fine. It's, you trapping, it's cool. Put Bay on some new stuff. Um, that, that's what you need to do. Tell Bay we're not eating dry salmon around these parts. So my skill is getting hot. Let me see, let me see. You know, old school people, y'all like to get your little water, throw it in the skillet, and sip it. Don't do that, that's dumb. <laughs> um, it's almost there. I got a little olive oil right here. Extra virgin, unlike me. And we're just gonna put a little bit of that in the skillet uh, and get cooking. I like to put the seasoning, the, the part that I seasoned down first. Again, I'm no chef. I just know how to trap. So we're gonna, you know, take that. And you want to hear that, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. That's how you know your skill is right. Remember, if it ain't dry, y'all know the rest. So we're going to get that working in there, get that salmon going, you know, move it around a little bit. Bam, that's... Now I like to just throw a little, just a little, to my white friends, just a little bit more. My black friends don't add shit else. So while that's going, let's, Let's reconcern ourselves with these jams and grab my test fork. Um, okay. Yeah, they right, they right, they right. So we gonna drain those. Um, bam, we just gonna drain it right here, put a top on here. While the salmon's going, we are gonna get, we get a knife. Just a little butter. That's a little bit. Time for bay. Just cause. Now I got a little orange liqueur. Get into it. You can use a little Grand Marnier, triple sec. Um, I'm not gonna endorse any of them cause none of them have wrote me a check. But this is a orange liqueur. Okay, so it's about time that we gotta, you know, we gotta flip this thing. It's real good, you see it got a little little movement to it. Um, just gonna flip it like that, boom, boom. Look at that color, mm. See, with, with that Atlantic salmon, sometimes you gotta add a little paprika. You know, paprika ain't really got no flavor, unless it's smoked, um, to give it some color. But when you got this Alaskan salmon, it got good, 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 good color. Okay, so we're about to do the kale. Um, hold on.
If you ever want to send me something nice, send me a Cabernet. 2012 is my favorite year. Just saying. We're going to add the kale. All right? We're going to add a little bit of my vinegar in there. Y'all get into that. You see how it's turned into a nice, pretty color? We want our greens to have color. Salt. Gotta, gotta kill it. Give it a little heat. Um, butter, never too much. Okay, Trapsters, so we got our sauce cooking. I have a little heavy cream, some white wine, lemon juice. I'll throw that in there. Um, and the fresh parsley, you know? A little fresh parsley. Again, you can do whatever you really want to do with your sauce. Like, I said I love capers. You can do capers. A little white wine, just a little bit. Bam. The most important part of a trife trap meal, of any trap meal, is the plating. Because your food has to look as good as it tastes. So, it starts with a clean plate, a white plate, not a paper plate, not the little black plate you thought was cute at Target, not the little cheap something something your mama bought you in a set when you moved into your first apartment. No, you need a good, clean plate. You can get any of these plates at your local, you know, if you got a little coin, you can go to, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond or Crate and Barrel. If you're a little budget conscious, but slightly bougie, Target. If you're all about your money, Walmart. But it's all about a white plate. And it's really, you know, you got to think about what you're plating. Today, since we're going to kind of plate this on top of each other, you want something that's a little deep. And that's something that you can clean the rim off really, really easily. So if y'all ready, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, plating going. I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. I, to make sure that my starches look really good, I use measuring cups. Um, it's amazing. It, it really makes sure you get a good portion and that it just looks really, really good when you put it on the plate. So. official trife trap meal. Now, who is going to come over your house and look at this and be like, so you a chef or no? Nah. <laughs> I've taught you the art of trapping. Um, we've been trapping in the kitchen for a little bit now. And, um, I think it's ready. If you get this like this, you get the wine flowing, you got my music going, there will be no other choice but you. But wait, before you put that plate, you gotta get your taste. I keep me a little handy dandy fork in my pocket just in case. You just gotta get your little sauce. Mm -hmm. You can't really get, I mean, if you real sneaky, you can get your piece of the salmon off the bottom part. See, I'm good at that. Um, and you just gotta make sure, I'm showing off, because <laughs> it's just that good. Listen, I got more episodes coming, and it's gonna be more plates just like this. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, at DJ Trife. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, DJ Trife. I guess you get where this going. Twitter, DJ Trife. SoundCloud, DJ Trife. I'm gonna take care of you. Get ready for the next episodes, plural. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to cook with Bay. I'm gonna teach you how to cook for Weight Conscious Bay, Woke Bay, Sleeping Beauty Bay, um, all of our bays across the continents. We may even do a little Mexican Bay, you know, Cuban Bay, uh, Indian Bay, Italian, or Italian as my granny say. Uh, don't worry, I got you. This has been the art of trapping in the kitchen. See y'all next time.